Hey, what's up YouTube? This is the Fish Tank Guy and I'm coming at you today with something completely new and different. Um, I started with the Saltwater Rookie Series in the 29 gallon bio cube. I showed you some of my freshwater tanks and today I'm going to walk you through building a fairly inexpensive five and a half gallon nano reef. Now some people want to get into the saltwater hobby. Um, you know, they want to have corals and all that fun stuff that comes along with it but you know they're not sure if it's for them and if you don't want to go out and spend a ton of money thousands of dollars you know on a larger tank you might want to start with something smaller even though it might be a little more difficult to maintain and see if it's for you or not so I'm actually gonna walk you through everything that I purchased for this setup and I'll also give you the prices for everything and you know you can see that you can kind of get into the hobby fairly uh, you know fairly inexpensively and you can give it a try and see if it's for you without really breaking your bank so I'll walk you through everything I purchased this is kind of the bare minimum of what you would need to start a nano reef and hopefully you find it um, interesting and you find the information informative and if it's something you're thinking about doing then you might you know move forward and give it a try so what I purchased here was a five and a half gallon starter kit. Now it came with the tank. It came with a different, very cheap hood. It came with a filter, a net, some you know water de dechlorinator and things like that um, that I don't really care about. But the main thing that I wanted was the standard size five and a half gallon tank. You know, in addition, the filter that comes with it is a hang on back filter. A lot of people think you need, um, you know, an advanced filtration system for a saltwater tank. You actually don't. So the filter will serve as your chemical and your mechanical filtration, and the live rock that you have in your tank uh, will serve as your biological filtration. Now, actually, with my setup, I chose to buy a different hang-on-back filter. It's a fluval, and I chose that because there's some more room in the compartment that I can actually store. Um, some I can put some purigen in there if I'd like or some live rock rubble and like a sponge and it also has a really nice um, flow control for a smaller tank like this so that I, I went with a different hang on back filter but again you know to save you some money you can just go with the one that comes in the starter kit um, and that starter kit should cost you about 30 bucks at Walmart or Petco or PetSmart take a look around and see which one you like alright then you'll need a heater I went with the Aquion 50 watt heater, uh, which is more than enough for a five and a half gallon tank. That was $19 on Amazon. Um, now, some of the other things that you have to fill in here, I mentioned the starter kit came with a pretty cheap hood with some, some LEDs. This is one of the old school incandescent hoods. It was $9.99 on Amazon. And the reason that I went this route is because with this hood, I could put in a Coralife 20 watt CFL 50/50 bulb, which you know equates out to roughly four watts of light per gallon. I know the watts per gallon thing is outdated, but for a nano reef that you want to keep some simple corals in, it's more than enough light. Um, you know, especially for softies and things like that. So now we've got. So we started with the starter kit, the heater, the hood for 10 bucks. The Coralife 20 watt bulb was $12, again on Amazon. You'll want five pounds of live sand that you can pick up for about $11. Now the reef rock, I'm actually going to have another piece of reef rock in here. I have not purchased it yet, but you'll want about five pounds of reef rock that you should be able to get for you know $3 a pound or so. So that's roughly $15. You'll need you know instant ocean sea salt to make your water. Um, you can buy a seven and a half pound box or bag from, you know, Petco, and that is roughly 11 bucks. You'll need, of course, five plus gallons of water to start, which is only about five dollars. And you'll also see in the tank over here, I chose to purchase the Rio Pump 50 plus which actually moves 69 gallons per hour. Um, that in combination with the hang on back filter should be roughly, you know, 100 or so gallons per hour. And they say a 20 times turnover of the water, 
in a in a saltwater tank where you're trying to keep corals is a good number. And so since this is a five gallon tank, you know, 100 gallons or so, that's 20 times turnover in the tank. Um, in addition, you know, something small you'll need, you'll need filter floss for the hang on back filter that you'll change fairly often. You can get bags of that at Walmart for roughly $3. And all of those things that I just covered right there come to a total of, you know, a little under $130. So there you have it in order to just create this setup. Again, you'll probably have more rocks than I have in there right now. But $130 is, you know, a pretty decent price point to have a small reef. I would say so. Now, you have to keep in mind that if this is your first tank, if it's your first saltwater tank, there are two other things that are basically essential to making sure that your saltwater tank is, um, you know, in check, the water is good. You'll want a refractometer which is about $20 on eBay. That's kind of a big ticket item. And also you'll want a saltwater test kit, which is roughly $22 on Amazon. Oh, and I forgot to mention, you'll of course want a little heater, which or a little thermometer, heater thermometer. You'll want a little thermometer, which will cost you about two or $3 on uh, Amazon or Petco, anything like that. So, you know, with those other essential items, you're up to 170. Now, if you already have saltwater tanks, you might already have those, so you don't have to reinvest again. Um, but, but really, if you're starting out, you don't have anything. You know, in order to have this a tank of this size that is kind of reef ready, um, along with the you know hardware to test the water and make sure your parameters are in check, you'll look at spending about $170, which is not really too bad um, and keep in mind like in a tank this size it might seem small but you can put a lot of smaller corals in here that will grow but it'll be really colorful um, you can probably put one small fish in here um, something like a goby maybe um, some people put one like oscillaris clown in a tank this size you know others might say that's pushing it a little bit but um, you know you would be able to have like one fish in here um, you'll have like a few inverts to keep things clean and then you'll have your corals and it can be a really nice looking aquarium you know a, a really nice saltwater coral aquarium so what I'm gonna do over the, the course of the next few weeks and months is I'm actually going to start populating this aquarium myself and I'll keep you posted and updated on my progress I'll give you tips and tricks for maintaining it and all that good stuff that comes along with it. So, again, thanks for watching. I hope you found this video to be informational. And if you're looking to get into the saltwater reefing hobby, hopefully this will give you some confidence that you don't have to spend a ton of money and it's something you're willing to give a try. So, this is the Fish Tank Guy. I hope you like this video and I hope you subscribe to my channel on YouTube. And we'll see you next time.